I'm Amira David with your 7 Action News headlines. Parts of southeastern Michigan under a wind advisory for most of the day on Saturday. Reports of damage pouring into our station. Power poles pushed over, tents shredded, and the roofs of buildings blown away. The most powerful gusts being recorded at 64 miles per hour. Thousands of people left in the dark tonight. And DTE says about 1,500 crews are busy working to restore power to customers across the state. DTE crews are also busy monitoring a situation in River Rouge where the ground appears to have collapsed. DTE officials are calling it a soil failure, which caused the ground to heave. It's on a storage lot near Bassett and Pleasant Streets. Crews say they are concerned about the integrity of the underground infrastructure. We're also told no residential service has been affected, but crews are on site to begin repairs. A deadly plane crash in New Hampshire is under investigation. It happened near the Manchester Boston Regional Airport in Bedford late Friday night. Officers believe the pilot and only occupant of the plane was 23 year old Emmanuel Bamvalakis of Linden, Michigan. First responders say the twin engine aircraft was engulfed in flames when they arrived. We're told the pilot reported engine trouble shortly before the plane went down. The NTSB and the FAA are investigating. If you're looking to get in on a bit of winter fun, we've got the place for you. The Detroit Riverfront Conservancy's Winter at Valade celebration returned this week and will run every weekend through February 27th. The celebration includes photos with Santa, ice sculptures, carolers, and a variety of food and drinks. And we do want to get a quick check on the forecast with meteorologist Mike Taylor. Mike, how are those winds looking? Hey, Amira, it looks like the winds are going to stay strong, maybe even gusty during the overnight hours and temps are going back to that December fill. Numbers go back to the 30s. At least the skies are going to be clearing up, but some mixed rain and snow showers will still be passing through.